teachers and friends. Today in my biology class, I will tell you a story of the evolution of Earth. Now this particular story began 4.5 billion years ago. When the Earth was just a big ball of fire. The Earth did not have any species of plants, animals, birds, fishes, etc. Nothing. The only thing that would happen was that volcanoes would erupt frequently. But then something magical happened. Meteorites from the universe all fell onto our Earth 4 billion years ago. And when the icy meteorites melted, it gave us the known oceans all around the world. And thanks to the gases emitted by the volcanoes and the meteors, the atmosphere formed. Then came the first living organisms on our earth. Do you know what they were? Yes, they were prokaryotes. This formed 3.5 billion years ago. And then came photosynthetic cells. Thanks to this, plants have photosynthesis. And these cells formed 3.2 billion years ago. Then slowly it evolved to oxygen breathing cells. Thanks to this, we can breathe. And it formed 2.7 billion years ago. But then, but then came eukaryotes, which formed 2 billion years ago. This cell was the first cell which was complex and it had nucleus. This was one of the startings of more complex organisms. But can you imagine? It took almost 2.5 billion years just to get one complex cell from 4.5 billion to 2. Point billion. I can't even imagine how that is possible. Then came plants. One of the most important parts of the evolution of earth. Plants came 600 million years ago. Then a blast happened on earth giving origin to corals, sponges, mollusks, fishes, etc. And do you know what blast that is? No, it is the Cambrian blast. Then fishes came a little bit later, 420 million years ago. Then came amphibians, 400 million years ago. Reptiles, 300 million years ago. And you must all know this one. Dinosaurs, 250 million years ago. Can you believe that? And do you know how dinosaurs got extinct? Well, that's another story. We'll talk about it later. Then came mammals. One of the most developed organisms in the evolution of Earth. Mammals came 65 million years ago. And then, and then came the first human ancestor 4 million years ago. I know that ancestor does not look as close to us because we humans are descendants of monkeys, gorillas, etc. So, there are some different features. So, he's kind of like half monkey, half human. But then, we all came, modern humans came 40,000 years ago. Otherwise called Homo sapiens. With modern humans came civilizations. And there are a lot more stories that we could talk about in the evolution of Earth. But I think we are running out of the time. I think it's going to be match period next. So then, let's end the biology class. Thank you and I hope you learned something.